How's it going, everyone? I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jade Elf. And where we last left off, we had just uh, stumbled into some pretty gross things. Um, we gave her a, a cold shower, though, so it's fine. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I see this loose boulder, but it's apparently too heavy to, to move. Oh, not for her. Dang, you got more strength than me. I see you. Oh, snap. Oh, it almost landed. What saved? Oh, it was just for her to throw. Thank goodness she didn't throw that at us. <laughs> Dang, I see you though, Karlak. How much strength do you have? Character sheet. She's got 17 strength. I've got 16. Oh, uh, okay. she only beat you by one. One day I'll catch a break. Wait, is it... Why is she glowing? Is it because we can pick her up and ask her questions or what? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we can. I don't think she's going to want to talk to us, though. Can we levitate her? <laughs> no hesitation. You want to levitate her just to see? The lure. It's willing to speak, but not to its killer. <laughs> okay. I, I, got, I got the perfect solution to that, though. Watch this. Can't afford to stay idle. Disguise person. Disguise yourself as something that'll be helpful for where we're going to. Where is... Uh, how are you? Feminine strong girl. <laughs> there we go. And now give her this. And she. Oh, uh, she can't speak to the dead because I already used it up. Uh. Oh, whatever. Well, we we would have <laughs> been able to speak to the dead if we did that first. I will remember that for next time. But this is this drow disguise will help us out, dude. Don't give up now. If we don't want to keep using the freaking worm. Hey. These boots have seen everything. A beast fit for an ogre. You notice a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. Sleight of hand, carefully wiggle the dagger until it's slice free strength. Grasp the handle and pull the dagger with all your might or investigation. Examine the meat. Perhaps there is w some trick to removing the dagger. Now nah, let's investigate. Just, just pull. I can't because uh, I don't have intelligence, so just guide me. Damn, you need to work on your smart, sir. <laughs> uh, I, I don't need to. I can just strength everything. Oh, wow. Who needs brains when you got bronze? <laughs> Luckily, in real life, you got both. <laughs> you yank the dagger free, leaving a narrow slit behind. Is it magical? We could give that to Gale. Hmm. It's a level one dagger. No, it's just a plus one dagger. Not level one, it's a plus one dagger. Mystery meat, tough as boar hide. Only the sharpest teeth could pierce it. Oh, so we're not allowed to eat it? Okay. Mm. <laughs> Rotten fish, rotten mushroom. Ew. <laughs> so I will have to remember that, that whenever we're close to uh, any, whenever we're close to any like boulders, Carla can chuck those motherfuckers. All right. So where would you like to go? Would you like to go north? This is uh, this is the toll house, I think, over here. That we explored, would you like to go north? Would you like to go north? Or would you like to go uh, east? No, west? <laughs> west? To where the goblins are? We got like a couple missions to do over there. We really don't have anything north right now. Or we can go south and go to the swamp to investigate Kaga. Or get help from Auntie Ethel. No, Auntie Ethel, I believe he had that poison that didn't work. I want to find the, the dude. Um, Halson? Yes. 
All right, we'll start heading toward the camp. Uh, remember, though, it, some of these will go away if we complete that main mission first. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, let's do something else that will go away. Um, by the way, you said Toll House. There's Toll House cookie. Oh, that's what it was? Yeah. Oh, Daughter of Darkness. Uh, what? Continue... Although Shadowheart tried to hide it, we discovered that she worships the goddess Shar. We need to ensure that she doesn't keep anything else from us. Oh, we can talk to her, I'm guessing. Wizard of Waterdeep. We gave Gale a potent magical item and he was able to absorb the weave inside. His condition has stabilized, though he warned us that it is an ongoing struggle. We should be prepared for the next time the need arises. Gale's condition has become unstable. Okay, we already did that. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we'll go south then, like you said, right? To go do Kaga's thing? What was Kaga's thing? She's uh, in cahoots with some shady peeps that wanted to meet her alone by the tree. Ah. Ooh, there's another thingy. A fast travel point. Somebody else gonna pop through there? <laughs> uh, ooh, wines. Just another crate. Just another crate. Some wine actually sounds really good right now. Ooh. Uh, do we want to go check that out? What is that? That's uh, level four, Lump the Enlightened. Level four, Frank or Funk. Uh, level four, Chalk. They're trading pieces of L. Shut. My or they're eating. <gasps> okay, so we're level three, so we'll just leave that alone for now, I guess. Yeah, but oh my, I wish I could stab him with my thumb. Who's that to the left of us? Nuke. Some goblins. Oh. Crawler Breck, Goblin Warrior, Cracker Slice. Hey, you got a name. What's up, Brawler Breck? Everything here is ours. Bugger off. Ooh, don't test me. Yeah, we, we might end up exterminating this whole place later. Really? Like, if we wanted to, we could. We already got through it peacefully, but if we wanted to come back here and exterminate it, we can. See, I'm not usually for violence, but the fact that they're so evil, I'm like, kill them all. <laughs> we haven't run into stuff to make potions in a while. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> is Shadowheart going to remain like that? Oh, like that? Until we break it, do you want to break it? No, it's fine. Because we don't need it. Eh. Why, what if we need it? No time to rest. Hey, it's Auntie. Hey. Level one Auntie Ethel. Blads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. What? Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I I don't know what's come over to you. Oh, you've boys. got blood on you though. Stop this. We We won't ask again. Insight failed. How about you all just calm down? What's going on here? Lower your weapons. I know this lady. This is nothing to do with me. Goodbye. <laughs> what do you think? What's going on here? Careful! Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? I won't let you hurt Auntie Ethel. I'm not getting involved. Ethel, what did you do to their sister? What do you think? Do we trust Auntie Ethel? I know where this is going, so what do you think? Um... I would say one, I don't know, one or three. Cause like that potion that she was gonna give us to supposedly get rid of the worm, I know was not gonna work. And she does have blood on her. Yeah, I would say I don't wanna do two just cause my guy would be like spurred to action here. I would say I'm a paladin and so far auntie hasn't done nothing evil, but yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. I'll do number three. Uh, let's be untrusting for once. 
I'm not this type of person, I swear. Bollocks. <gasps> you were I got it right. To rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some advice. You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye bye now. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rina. So for context, they keep saying hag. They're not just calling her old and ugly. A hag in D&D is a Witch? S- super old fairy creature that's super powerful and deals. It's, it's like a devil pretty much, but the fairy version. It gives you a deal, but it usually doesn't. It gives you what you want, but not in the way you wanted it. Oh. Uh, we don't know if she is or not. All we know is she said, what the hell? You're supposed to protect me. And then she disappeared. So you're not going to tell me if I was right yet? No, I'm just saying. Uh, okay. Will someone please tell me what's going on? Well, good luck with that. Let's see what's going on. It's our sister, Marina. She's, well, she was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was going to bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! So, I guess they made a deal then? Let me, I'll bring my Marina home. You're on your own, I've had enough problems. I'm sorry, I wish you luck in finding her. Um, no, I, I I gotta help. Let me, if she does have her, I'll bring her home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel, not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. All right, cool. Well, we're not doing, we're not going to Auntie yet because we were going down to where Kaga's supposed to be meeting somebody. Waste of step. But, I mean, it's a nice forest and stuff. I don't know what, what evil thing would be living in here. There's a basket. A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Look for anything out of the ordinary or ignore the feeling. Yeah, look for anything out of the ordinary. It's a 20. Come on, big roll. Big roll. Big roll. Nope, I don't know nothing. You know who is going to know something, though? I'm switching right to Gale. <laughs> no, I'm not using that. Quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Can't switch to Gale, I guess. Oh, wait. Yeah. Salutations. Very well. Gale, no. You see apples. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me, Auntie E. Where'd the apples go? Oh, Gail had them, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll go with Gail for a little bit. Maybe he gets an- another one. Fail. My faith will guide me. Let's try this way. Try trap where oh right there where in the water there a spike trap man now I'm freaking uh paranoid because they were like oh do you notice something no no you don't (laughs) on my way Hey, you all made it across. Nice. What the? Whoa. That's a lot of blood. Is there anything worth taking here? There's a backpack. We'll come back for you, backpack. (laughs) Backpack. Really annoying that when you say something, if... What is that red thing? Oh, it's just the broken... A druid sanctuary. Don't mind me. 
What is that flying thing? Oh, oh, lots of flying things. Level three, one, four, three, three, four, three. One of them's got 42 yeah, life, it's though. The big tree man. All right, you're up first. What would you like to do? Oh, I control Karlak? Yeah, yeah, yes, you do. Who am I controlling? You got Karlak and you've got, uh, and you got Shadowheart. Okay. I would recommend raging. <laughs> Rage. It really helps out. Was it the, the bear? bear. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I'm getting the hang of it. You got to make sure you hit something or are hit every turn, though, when you rage. Okay. Just click it. Just click it. Just click it. Whoa. Now you can move up, but remember, make sure you attack something every turn. Shoot, everything's like really far, though. Yeah, it's because you're in the water. You got to get out of the water. So I got to move out first and then... Yeah, you okay. can throw something or you got a crossbow too, so don't worry about it. Just move but I can move first, right? Yep. Oh, you still got some movement. Oh, I do. The mud is going to slow you down. Right though. in the middle? Or should I get out the mud? Go this way. Yeah, sure. Go, Just go toward something. I would recommend <laughs> the tree people. Um, you can't reach leave. anything with your axe, so you're either going to have to throw something or shoot something. Would it be this one? That's to use your crossbow where you can throw something with the this one. The other one. Oh? No, no. No. Okay. You really have to get in here and look at these. <laughs> throw. Sorry, go <laughs> throw or what? Throw or shoot. Okay, two to nine damage and this is not telling me what it would be. No, because you would have to click something to throw. Like one of the javelins or something. All right. 75. 75. All right. Let's hit you. That's it. Nine. Nice. Hello, wood people. So we just walked in here and they decided to be like, hey, fuck you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is that grouped? It's a group person. Yeah. So that's. Yeah. And they're mud methods. So I guess they're made out of mud. Don't come at me. Ah, oh, nice. I missed. Hey, you're up with Shadowheart. All right. So what's my best bet with Shadowheart? Stay far away or still yeah. go forward a little? You can go forward against those things. I would stay away from the tree. If you want to bless us, you can bless us. If you want to use your mirror image, you can do that. Or you can gain, get a weapon, whatever you want to do. Level one lets you do three people. A level four lets you do four. A level two lets you do four. You only got one level two slot, though. And if you get hit, there's a chance that this goes away. It's probably going to go away. <laughs> so level one and just click whoever you want to put it on. Oh, you, of course. I already clicked those two, right? Yeah, I would say yourself, too. Oh, wait. Did it? Okay. Yep. Anything else I can do? What's this? You can get your weapon for a level two spell slot. Again, you only have one of those, or you can push. Let's push him. There you go. Nice. All right. Yeah. All right, Gale. Gale... Those things are made out of wood, so I would appreciate it if you would, uh... If you would. <laughs> read fire. Thank you, Gail. Oof. It's dashing. Oh, you got a smear- searing smite, too, so if you can get to one of them tree people, you can smite them with fire. Which one? Shadowheart or...? Uh, Karlak. So for Karlak and, and my guy, our, the name of the game for us is to get up to things and and hit them. Just completely destroy them. This is me. Um, the name of the game for Gale and Shadowheart is usually to stay away and hit things with... Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to take this so I have more actions. 
It's the steak. Gross. Oh god, they explode. I didn't know they exploded. Is there blood? Um, like, does it do something bad to us? Well, it hurts. Oh. Here, heal yourself. Thank you. And now... Do you want to take that one, or do you want to take that one? Or should we both take this one fast? Yeah, we can both take that one fast. Have to keep going. Great fireball. Take that. And no, yeah, don't go nowhere. I kind of want to have you in the way so that guy doesn't move. So we have to get away from these things. Alright, you're up. Okay, what's that move? What? The smite. Oh, it's this one. Oh, oh you can't, can't use it. it when you're raging. Oh. Right, when you're raging, you can't cast anything. Honestly, you can probably, like, try to... Oh, you can't jump. Why? Because you're in mud? Mm-hmm. I'm, like, deep in mud right now, too. Well, I guess you can try to throw this one back over there and then go toward him. Okay. Unless you want to just move through him and take a hit, but you're not going nowhere. <laughs> no. Let's throw him. And you got to make an attack, too, or else your rage runs out. Okay. So if I throw him, will so I still be able to attack? Throwing is an attack. Oh. So, no, don't click on him because uh, he's going to explode on you. The throw button. And now click on him. And I guess throw him back over there somewhere. <laughs> okay. Oh, you, you decide who you're going to throw him at. Throw him at something. Nice. And now you can move. Get the heck out of this mud. The easiest way. Yeah. Ugh, I'm still stuck in mud. Oh, you can also take this potion if you want. You have that. It gives yeah. you another action and it increases your speed. Let's take it. Nice. You already attacked this turn, so I think you can... Uh, Press the brown boot to dash, and you, you'll probably get farther. Get out of this freaking mud. Whew. Did I get go this way or go we're, that? We were gonna take that one, right? The one on the left. Tactical. Ah, oh, I can't do nothing more. Right? Yeah. Aw, oh, dang it. He tried to entangle you, but I don't think he actually got you. Leave me alone, you stupid thing. <gasps> Did it revive it? It's making more of those mud things. Ugh. You don't have to really move. You can try to kill that one, I guess. That one's making the mud things, right? Yeah. Okay. That's only one to eight damage. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Is that that takes that level one spell slot? Huh? Yeah. Oh, one to ten them. Nice. It's almost dead. Oh, anything else I can do? I can't push anybody. Can't try to jump. jump out of the roots. Oh. Should I jump back or forward? If if you move, it's gonna it's gonna try to entangle you again. You gotta press the jump button and jump. And I would recommend away from that tree. <laughs> like over here. Yeah. The least amount of mud. Nice. All right. The price roll in my favor. All right, Gail, you're up. Get over there. We're actually gonna do. Oh, must be humanoid. Damn it. Oh, we're just gonna do this then. Oh, that got rid of those fucking things. That's a young one. Okay, we gotta kill that one and it'll get rid of all the young ones. Okay. Oh, 
Ah. It tried to entangle okay. you. It didn't work. Yeah, it's a good thing they're trying to entangle us. Created another one. Motherfucker. So that's the one we have to kill, the one that just moved again? Yeah. Do I go attack him or do I continue trying to get in this guy's way? Uh, attack the, the thing. This one? Yeah. Dang it, it only did four damage. I'm gonna try to get in his way too. Just to keep him on fire since he's made of wood, I imagine that that stops his regeneration, right? I don't, I'm don't. i not sure. I hope so. Hey, it's my turn. I'm gonna vow of enmity you. And I'm gonna smite you. Hmm. A 65% chance to to hit. I don't think I'm gonna smite you. I'm not gonna smite you. Um, let's go attack you first. Nice. And uh is it still 65? It is. I'm gonna smite you. I'm not gonna smite you. Yeah, it's a good thing I didn't smite him. Alright, you're a parlac. Okay. The uh, reckless attack makes it so you pretty much hit a bunch, and you got two attacks, so you're gonna fuck this guy up. A reckless attack is by the bear. Ah. So that gives you advantage, but it gives everyone else around you advantage too. Or it gives anybody who attacks you advantage too. Ah, that's it? You could do it again though, and you still have advantage. Oh, oh, oh. oh one still, dude? Okay, I'm gonna push you. Oh god, you pushed her. I shot a oh, heart. Oh no! Oh. You want to oh. go get in his way? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Got it. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I almost tripped. Wood, wood. You little bastard. Keep trying to... Okay, you're up. Huh. You're up. So that guy's in your way, uh, so your spells are going to be lower. You can try to push him away, and then if you want to attack that other guy, you can with whatever you want. Let's do This is the push one, right? Yep. Push you. Nice. And then, yes, let's get rid of this. Sneaky. This is the old one, right? Yeah. The ancient. Yeah, with you. <gasps> what the hell? Two? Dude. <laughs> I'd back up if I were you. You're at half health too. Right here? Mm hmm. That's why Gail's like, I'm gonna stay right here. <laughs> oh, fools, these Gail. I'm all turned away. Jeez. 75%. 75%. Let's do ice and see if that does any, any better. Three. Ah, uh, Lee. What did he have left? Seven? Mm hmm. Um. Don't shoot you, mother trucker. You think you can protect him? You cannot even protect yourself. <laughs> Whoa, gross. Ow, they exploded and it hurt us all? Ouch. Dang. Okay, well... We're done being wait, blessed, huh? Where's the other one? Oh, that one is an ancient one, too. No, you you actually kept your concentration, so that's good. Well, so much for peace. Okay, so I don't want that thing to keep making more. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to throw something at it. Four to th 13. Good idea. Five. Oh my gosh, out of 29. Hopefully okay. the fire kills him. But yeah, I'm going to get in this thing's way now to try to oh, first mid battle loop. A twisting branch. Nice. Wooden bark for a shield. Just take it, whatever. And get in his way. Oh, wait. Don't. Yeah. Okay, so we made a mistake. We should have... Well, we didn't know about the ancient guys, but... 
Well, uh, you know what would be funny? <laughs> what? If you came over here and threw this guy at that guy so that when you kill him, it, it doesn't explode on you and Gale. Uh, I think you would have to jump, though. Or no, actually, I think you got enough movement speed to do it. Are you here? Yeah. Jimmy on the go. And then throw. That one? Yeah, she's strong as hell. She could throw things far, far. Oh, you missed them. Yeah. Well, you still got one more action. You can still try to shoot it or something. Which one's the ancient one? The one you threw it at. This one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, you still got a jump action. You want to try to jump and see if you can reach them that way? Let's do. You got to be near him, though. Like, super near him. Right there? Yeah. Oh, never mind. You don't got enough movement. Oh. You can try to shoot him or throw something at him. Because he's just going to create another one. I throw four to nine damage. He's only if got one I health. Shoot. He's got what? One health. Make it. There we go. Nice job. Okay. Can I push somebody? No, I can't. But I can move forward a little bit. Yeah, I'm staying. Who <laughs> just walked behind you? Oh, snap. Bastard keeps trying to entangle me. You're up, Shadowheart. Is that the only one left? Yep. Not enough movement. Wait, this one has more. 58. Nice. 22. It broke its concentration, too. We don't need to spend any more spells, honestly. I need to demonstrate. Huh. Why does it got so much high defense? Why wouldn't he? <laughs> Come on, that was clever. <laughs> You're back up, Shadowheart. Ah. That one won't do much, huh? Um, it might. Two to know. five damage. Hold on, let's see. No, it resists bludgeoning, so you're not going to do much. It has a vulnerability to fire, though, which is why I kept uh, shooting him with fire. 35%. Oh, you know what you can do? You can dip what? your you can dip your weapon in that fire. And if we can finally use that, Ooh. dip it in the fire and then smack him. All right. I don't know if you're going to be able to reach him, though. Don't step in the fire, though. Let's try. Oh, dang it. I walked too much in. All right, let's do this fast. Which one's the dip? Dip. Dip. Can I go? Like okay. Niche. And then. And then I stab you. You don't have to move. You just. Yeah. This one? Or this um, one? Whatever you want. Hey. No. The last board is set. Oh, because I'm entangled? You need to jump up. Um. As soon as my freaking guy comes up, I'll kill him. There we go. Oh. Seriously.
<laughs> You're up. You can kill him now. Ooh, last. Oh, it's immune to bleeding. <laughs> Damn it. This thing is so hard to kill. Right, you're up, Shadow Hard. You could just smack him, I think. Wow. Nice. Oh, you were nice and you just knocked them out? Yeah. What were you gonna do? A Woodwode Shield plus two armor class. That's something for you. Awesome. There is work to do. And then Gale can have uh, this plus two armor class. Saving throw. Yep. Have a lot on my mind. All right, so uh, oh, they were like, it. didn't want no one over here. I wonder why. We used up our short rests already. All right, well, long rest right after we see what the hell is going on over here. Ancient mud. Do these guys even have anything on them? Method. Method wing. Oh, nice ingredients. All right, there's also the stuff that we threw. I'll take that. Hmm, mm, so that circle thing around must be something. Yeah, I said this was the druid, uh, druid something, right? Twisting vines. What's next, I wonder? Let's move. Breathe deep and move. I like that we took a lot of damage, but it was literally only because their things died and they were right next to us. <laughs> if y'all don't stop stepping on those vines, I swear. Okay. And there we go. There's a javelin that you threw. Let's have a look. The sparkle hand. On a hit with unwarned attack, the wearer gains two lightning charges. Do what? While imbued with lightning charges, attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal. Ooh, that's really good. Is this does this count as armor? <laughs> I don't think it does because it doesn't say anything. Go for a good meal. Let's see. Your armor class is 13 right now. If you put this on, it's still 13. Oh, that's super good, babe. So if you hit something, you get two lightning charges, and while you're while you have lightning charges, um, anytime you attack anything wearing ar armor, it gives you advantage. Nice. What am I? What am I wearing? Oath spells. You gain heroism. Okay. Wait, was that it though? All right. What now? Yeah, what now? We were supposed to meet. Well, they were meeting somebody here. Or did it say a knight or something? Something good here. I hope. Do we have to step on the line? Then? What's that yellow triangle? Hmm. Must be the oh, there we go. To Korga. What's that left there? There we go. Letter to Korga. 
Haga, Oloran has sent word of your progress. I am pleased that the rite of thorns has begun. I depart soon from Cloakwood to Baldur's Gate. Should you need further aid from my circle, now is the time to ask. Once cloistered, the Emerald Grove will be the Shadow Druid's domain, and you, its first druid. In Baldorn's memory, our druid Aelis. Okay, so. Investigate Kaga. A second note proved that Kaga is in league with the Shadow Druids. This could explain why she wants the Tieflings gone. So I'm guessing we could show that to the Druids. Mm. <laughs> Alright. I like how the map starts unlocking as we walk through. Yeah, it's really cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Barb bushes. Oh. That would have hurt if I didn't pass that test. <laughs> Rope and a hammer. <laughs> That seems a little weird. All right, so that was uh, that part of the quest. Go ahead and uh, go over to where all that blood was at and let's uh, make camp over there, huh? Mm -hmm. All this for just that letter was a little uneventful. <laughs> Although now we can be like, look at who she really is, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, we were going to get that backpack. Blood. A half eaten apple, a red apple, a this pouch. This camp was ambushed. This camp was ambushed. All those half eaten apples were those the ones that Anti E put out? Said, I wonder what kind of creature could have caused so much damage. Ooh. With the dust of their journey still clinging to boot and cloak, the canny traveler will no doubt seek to secure accommodation within the city post haste. Below are some establishments that are typical of what the city has to offer. The Blade and Stars, easily identified by its sign, a wooden shield boasting a curved blade against a field of stars. A handwritten scrawl in the margins notes that the sign is currently not in place. The inn is comfortable, quiet, and highly recommended for travelers seeking to recuperate from their journey. Accept unassuming fare at the reasonable price, moderately clear, clean rooms, and passably clean patrons. The Blushing Mermaid. For those seeking an altogether rowdier night in the city, the Blushing Mermaid should be their first port of call. Named for the life-size wooden mermaid on display, this inn is known for its ill-reputed patrons, frequent brawls, and altogether unsavory reputation. Nevertheless, I feature the, I feature it here owing to great interest from my readership. I can only advi advise that you exercise extreme vigilance. Should, should you choose to, should you choose this establishment, Elf Song Tavern. Most of this passage is illegible due to water damage. Apart from the words and phrases nearest to the inner margins, dimly lit proprietor Alan, disembodied elvish singing voice. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, what are those scrolls? Featherfall and Charm Person. <laughs> Where's everybody else at? Gosh. That's curious. What? She saw this when we couldn't. More healing potions, some blue dye, and more ingredients. Another step forward. Can anybody else, like, see what the hell happened over here? There's intestines. Library. <laughs> he just laced. 
no, apparently it was just us who had that roll. Whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and take our long rest. Anybody got anything to say? Does not look like it. Whoa. Oh, we still got the owl bagger. <laughs> owl bear egg. <laughs> you don't sleep well, flitting between dreams and nightmares. Ah. Maybe you wake up because you know something is wrong. Or maybe... Who's near us? You just get lucky. <gasps> He's finally gonna eat us, damn it! The Starian. No, no. It's not what it looks like. Better be what it looks like. Right? I... I wasn't going to hurt you. I... I just needed... Well... Blood. There, in the dim firelight, you see him for what he really is. A vampire. A slave to sanguine hunger. I can't believe I didn't see it. We even found the boy you snacked on. How long since you killed someone? Days? Hours? Melee attack, pick up a steak, and lunge, lunge at the monster. <laughs> so, ask him, or say, I can't believe it even when the boar you snacked on. Ask him how long it's been since he killed somebody, days, hours, or um, kill his ass. My guy would usually, I think, kill him because vampires are evil. But to be fair, we have been traveling with him. He doesn't, hasn't he done hasn't, anything evil. Yeah, he hasn't done anything evil so far. He's been a dick, but <laughs> he hasn't done nothing evil so far. And we've gotten to know him. I don't think my guy would immediately go to fuck you. You're dead. <laughs> so I think how long has it been since you killed somebody? This will make me help me make my decision. I guess he, if he goes, oh, it's been I last killed somebody here. I'd be like, all right, now you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, Astarion, what you got to say? Don't make me kill you. Killed anyone? Well, not the food. I feed on animals, boars, deer, kobolds. Kobolds aren't animals. That's fucked up. It's not enough. Not if I have to fight. I feel so weak. If I just had a little blood, <laughs> I could think clearer, fight better. Please. A strange sensation courses through you. And your companion's mind unfolds. Secrets half. Ooh, spill the tea, spill the tea. Why didn't you tell me? I don't care how much you need. You're not drinking my blood. It let the wisdom push into his mind and search for the truth. So, uh, this is invading his privacy and to search for the truth. And giving using control, the giving more power to the... But he also invaded my privacy by trying to drink my blood, so... But it's going to grow more powerful. I was half expecting a one. <laughs> I... What's this? What's happening? Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. It's taking something you'll never get back. I... It's my opens up, revealing cracked and quivering... You're feeding the worm. At their heart, you see dark eyes commanding you to feed. You open your mouth and bite down, not into a tender neck, but into the twisting body of a rat. The only Aww. thing the master lets you eat. I don't think he's going to be happy that we saw that. No. You eat animals because you were forced to, not because you wanted to. Why didn't you tell me you were a vampire? Yeah, don't lie to me, bro. You ate it because you were forced to, not because you didn't want to. I... Yes. Yes, I ate whatever disgusting vermin my master picked. So you can see why I'm slow to trust you. But I do trust you. And you can trust me. I do. I believe you. You tried to bite me. How can I trust you? Leave. If I ever see you again, I kill you. You tried to bite me. How could I ever trust you? Because we don't have a choice. Not if we're going to save ourselves from these worms. 
I need you alive. You need me strong. Please, I'll give you a taste, I swear. I'll be well, you'll be fine. And everything can go back to normal. Why do I have to be the one who gets the hickey, though? <laughs> See, I'm too trusting. I'm too nice. I would have been like, okay, you can take us. Fine, but not a job more than you need. All right, but go too far and drive. Go too far and I'll drive a stake through your chest. Are you mad? No. I'm between one and two. Because I'm like, fine, whatever. Do you do know I, you want to do, do two? Do I threaten him or do I just be nice about this? I would just, just be him. nice, but I know you want to threaten him. All right, let's just be nice then. But not a drop more than you need. Really? I... Of course. Not one drop more. Let's make ourselves comfortable. Why do I not what? believe you, Astariad? Make ourselves comfortable? Dude, this is so weird. <laughs> It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick, sharp pain that- If you don't stop at the safe word, I'm gonna punch you in the mouth, bro. <laughs> Pineapple! Catches. <laughs> Quickens. Okay, you done yet? Shadowheart's gonna be like, what's going on? <laughs> Persuasion, that's enough. Strength, push him back. Melee attack, grab the stake and drive it into his heart. Let him continue. What did he say? It's like a shard of ice into your neck. A quick sharp of pain throbs and nothing catches your pulse quickens. Oh, it's literally this. Okay. Um, no, I think... Or do I let him continue? What do you think? Should we stop him or do let we let him, him go a little more? I think we're fine, right? You want to let him continue? I don't know. You lean into him, losing yourself. You can feel your blood racing, coursing through both your bodies. A gentle, numb feeling starts to spread. Okay, now push him. Stop, it's too much. Stop, it's too... Oh, it's you're lucky I'm good at persuasion, bro. Why did they take away the option to punch him in the mouth? Is it because I'm getting weak now? Yeah. All right. If you... I swear to God, a star, and if you kill us, I'm going to drive a stake in your heart on the reload. Oh, oh my God! We're gonna die, and it's because I let him continue. I should have punched him in the mouth. You should have punched him in the mouth. <laughs> if it gives me the option to punch him now, I'm gonna punch him. Uh, uh, of course. I was just swept up in the moment. Hmm. But it worked. I feel good. Strong. Happy. Dude, we've been killing so many freaking things. You kidding me? Oh, right. He's out in the over here. You almost killed me. I'm looking forward to seeing you fight. Uh, melee attack his guards down. Grab the stake and drive it into his heart. No, we won't kill him. But I wish there was an option to punch him in the mouth after this. You almost killed me. Spoiler alert. Yes, he would have killed us. Ah. If we failed either of those rolls or if you were nice and let him continue, he would have drank us dry. Blast. Which is why I'm like, fuck this guy. <laughs> you almost killed me. But I didn't. And that's what matters. Oh my gosh, this look guy. What you've gained. Together, we can take on the world. I hope so. I look forward to seeing you fight. You need to leave my camp now. If you ever try that again, I'll cut you in half. Or grab a steak and if drive it If you ever try spot. that again, I will cut you in half. It won't happen again. You have my word. Now, if you'll excuse me, you're invigorating, but I need something more filling. And you still... It's a gift, you know. I won't forget it. You still are going to go keep feeding? Towards the forest. Stronger. More confident. He's going to feed on an animal now. Oh. But yeah, from now on, he can we he unlocked his bite attack and he can start biting the bad guys because he's no longer trying to hide that he's a vampire. And we have bloodless condition feels a bit woozy. Minus one to attack roll, saving throws and ability checks. That stays with us, I think, until a long rest. So to make him stronger, we made ourselves weaker in return. 
Astarion. When we come back, we will use you, and hopefully you prove useful. If not, I might actually stick a stake through you. Mm. Um, but yeah, this seems like a good spot to take a break. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>